Hello again, Test 2 Pierre, and welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports on Son of Peace. The next one matchup. The second game is about to be started right now as the Minnesota Wilds are still away at Canada to play against the Winnipeg Jets. The other turn team is going to be a rough on a call. They have a 3 0 lead over the Wilds. Now their chances are can the Wilds take it back? Or will the Jets claim it all and destroy with a shutout win over the Wilds with a score of 4 0? Well, we'll see what we can do. It might be a rough one for tonight. It can be difficult. Now standing by is Jay Sabolski and Greg Ferraro. I'll be back with the post-game show for the three star players of the game. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the next game. Minnesota goal, his first goal of the season in the playoffs, scored by number 88, Erickson Eck. His first assist here by number 26 here, Erickson Scorcheron. And by number 24, Erickson Eck. Time of the goal, no, 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 Time of the goal, 4 3 3 remaining in the first period. Four shooters up. Six shots on goal here for Minnesota and three shots on goal for Winnipeg Jets. Here for the first part of the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Stanley the Coupe de Final. Well, in the minute.
draw inside the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Shaw. Quick feed down low. And they continue to fight for that cup along the wall. Winnipeg's going to hold it against the wall. Slides it on over to Barrett. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. The Wild have possession along the boards. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Grab along the board by Reed. Barrett's got the puck in his own zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Along the half wall with the puck. Move and the puck hops away from him. I already 
trying to do, get in the space to shoot, but now you got to chase because you've turned it over. First period. Next one's really big. Could be stopping in for the big tonight. Left in this 
Spring, one nothing to score. Winnipeg's got it, and they're on the attack. Mercer can come in a row. It's a crossing front.
Minnesota the penalty, two minutes for hooking.
Three minute penalty for Matthew Rivosi for, for two minutes for slashing. Here we now for the power play! One minute remaining. Una minute is out of his head. Oh, you're the period on on goal for the Winnipeg Jets and 43 shots on goal for the for the Minnesota Wilds in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And the Coupe Eliminator. by number 25, Zach Wheeler! His first assisted here, second assisted by number 25, Connor Connor. And by number 20, Darren Tobias. Time to go, 1843 remaining in the third period of the Stanley to Coupe Eliminator. Pass back to the point. Turn the side with the 
One minute remaining. Uno minute Rosale for an empty period. Two minutes for slashing. Two minutes for the for the uh, Winnipeg Jets here, number 20, Nikolai Mushi. Top of the penalty, it's 1942 remaining in the third period. Woody Wilds from Lane. Minnesota Gold is first goal in the playoffs of the power play. Scored by number 97, Carol Kapitov. His first assist here by number 4, Carol Addison. Top of the goal, 1956 remaining. Three, three, third period of the Stanley Cook Delimiters. Well, it seems like this is the toughest matchup, like you know, Minnesota are trying to fight back. With one way for the word in between. With the total shots in between for 61 and 34. 
and it was 14 hits here for the Winnipeg Jets. Both guys have a power play goal for Minnesota and the Jets. The other guys really have no uh, shorthanded goals. So it looks like it all comes down to the overtime period. We never showed you here before as this one comes down towards the line to try to maintain their weight on the board. So, we don't think we didn't have the free on free advantage because we now have a five on five advantage here. It goes back with the regular uh, men's on ice. And maybe every period of overtime, there might be a changeable reason. Well, it's because of what they did, it's not really going to help us all. Well, who would? There might be one thing to help the mind keep it dry. Thanks to Kurakov, he just finally gave it all with the team to try to tie the game. He's like a fast wheel to put it up here and what a play he has done. But this is all comes down to overtime. There will be a winner. A win or go home for the Wilds. It's time to start now. Let's bring it back to Jay Sabolski. Minnesota goal, his first goal in the playoffs in overtime, scored by number five, which is uh, Milite. Time of the goal, 2.43 remaining in the third in overtime, in the Stanley Cup see the Minnesota. For Jacob Middleton, the Wilds are back. They are not done yet. They've got a few more games here to face against the Jets here at home. To play against the Jets here back at XL Energy Center. Now time for three star plays of the game. The third star of the game goes out to Kyle Connor, with only two assists in the hit. He made a great pass over to Zach Wheeler and made that one a better save. Good handle with the puck. Really did turn out one of the best. The second star goes to Philip Gustafsson. 32 saves in the game did turn out the best. And the first star was Hellebuck, with 61 saves in the game. Excellent work on the team, really did turn out the best. After Kaprasov with the, with the rush on the wheels with the power play goal, then it's Jacob Middleton with a win in game overtime. That's for game four. Well, they will be back here to play here in Minnesota once they get to return, rehydrate it and get ready for Game 5. Once all Game 4s are completed, then we will head back over to Game 5 for the, uh, the start of the game in between the ranges, first and second game, where they have been last time. So the next part of the game will happen here with the Hurricanes and the Islanders back at the UBS Arena. And finally, we will have the Kraken and the Knights at Climate Pledge Arena. 
I hope everybody's enjoying and have a great day here and night. I'll see you all again for the next part of the game here on, on a commentary for the next one in between the ranges here by the games. At this point, will be the next one to be determined to find out who will take the next win. So in the meantime, Test Tube is out of here. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Have a great night everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.